Here is the Xiangjiang River, a major tributary of Yangtze and a crucial threshold of the Long March, the epic military maneuver in China's modern history. Eighty-five years ago, there was a fierce battle here on this river between the Workers' and Peasants' Red Army led by the Communist Party of China and Chiang Kai-shek's KMT Party forces. At that time, the Red Army soldiers had broken three KMT blockade lines in just one month and a half since they left their bases in East China in mid-October 1934. And the Xiangjiang River was the fourth. However, the Red Army suffered heavy losses when they tried to cross the river. The number of the Red Army soldiers reduced by nearly half in the five-day battle. The Battle of Xiangjiang River had changed not only the course of the Long March, but China's revolution and the fate of the country. In his 1985 book, The Long March, the famous American journalist Harrison Salisbury once called it the first big battle of the Red Army since the march began. Here's exactly where the last of the Communist Party troops, the 8th Army Corps, crossed the river on December 1st, 1934. There used to be a small ferry here 85 years ago. Many soldiers crossing the river from this ferry died in enemy bombing and machine gun fire. Although the Red Army suffered heavy casualties in the battle, they successfully broke the line and went on. Chairman Mao arrived in northwest China in October 1935, and all the Red Army forces reunited there one year later.